don't know if I'm ready for such praise yet, but I do agree that we have plenty of players here uh, that have fast rises. Uh, today, I think a great example, we had a stream match where Vorp will be damned. That's a great example that of, a, of a rise. Yeah, that's right. 2-0 and Damp played both of his characters. It's a great win. Freeze is getting stuff started right now. Yeah, racking up a quick 75. Yeah, his combos but were looking so nice right now. He is playing Poon's DK, which we know how those combos can go. Oh! Nice! I loved that! That was a wow. beautiful edge Wow! Punch. And Poop missed the item. I mean, if he died in, he would have popped up, but... You know, I think he was just expecting a different follow-up after that jab. Yeah. Nice. That down air was too easy for Poob after he got it. He knew he got he had the kill. And what a beautiful, like that is a hard down air to land in neutral. That was beautifully done by Poob. Taking full advantage of Both his invincibility frames. This combo doesn't stop. Oh, oh, the top. Holy shit. Back Good and forth, for high octane. Yeah, definitely. This has been a back and forth uh, big combo game so that's why. Some high level shit. Oh, so high level right now. Yo. Let's see what, what gets started here. Ooh, All right, good nice. tack from Freeze to avoid that up there. Well, well, Down it with Keith. Gets oh my god, the really run quick up, up, air. up air. Freeze! Really it never stops. It never oh stops. Oh. I thought we were going to see the Nair, but Freeze isn't done with him. That was a quick 105%. Yeah, we're right after a zero to death. Good chair. Oh, wow, wow, oh. wow, wow, wow. Freeze showing he is not afraid of Donkey Kong's upbeat. Chair works. Three stocks to one. Three so stocks to quick. one and heals up real quick on that apple. Minute and a half. Wow. I really liked how Boob opted not to nair, jump back fair. So right, smart. Right, right. He was waiting for a reaction. He knew that was the only way he was going to get an early kill, which is what he thinks he needs right now. Uh oh, bad. He's faced up air. And that'll cost him the stock. Yeah. You cannot make mistakes like that against Poob, no. especially on the top yeah, platform. Don't, don't get grabbed on the top platform, no, man, or this monkey will have get his way with you. Zero up there. This monkey and this player will have their way with you. All right. Uh, a little bit of nerves that F smash from Freeze, but he can afford to make small mistakes like that. But you never want to count out Poop. I mean, things like this oh, just happen. Oh. The frame oh, one. The frame one. But what? But what? We that. Donkey Punch came so close to uh, evening up that match. So close. At the very last moment. But and we're here in there. winner's round five. Whoever wins this match... Man, if, if Freeze wins this, it'll be huge for him. You know, I don't know how much... These guys spar a lot. Well, Colors, talk to me a bit about uh, Freeze versus Bees, our two Game & Watch expertise, experts in building. Talk to me about the differences and what you think about them. Uh, let's see. The biggest thing, the first thing that comes to mind is Bees, his biggest approach is fair. That's what he likes. He likes to get all the hits of that, L cancel into grab, start something, get something going. Whereas Freeze is a lot more varied in his approaches. It's not as Telegraph. both. Yeah, but both are are similarly similar level of effectiveness, just different styles. We saw in the ditto last week that bees took it over freeze. Yeah, exhibiting a much stronger punish game, which is something that is normally true. I find that bees has a scarier punish game than freeze. Even if freeze's fundamentals, his edge guarding, his neutral game, are significantly stronger than bees. But what we saw last game was immaculate. I mean, right. yeah, Freeze, no, his Freeze looked like Poob. Out of control, yeah. Freeze looked like Poob right there. Especially those kills off the top. Wow. Amazing. Is Poob considering a character switch? Well, we know with the new rule set, he would have to change characters before stages are selected. Right. This isn't an attempt to, to lower um, lower matchup volatility. It is an idea we are practicing for a few SGs. The idea is give your opponent the opportunity to ban based on the character, not based on the person, which does make a lot of sense. But the counter argument is it makes counter picks that much more Do you have cash? Do you volatile, that much more potent. Just tell him it's for me. I'll pay him again. Because you give the the switching player the opportunity to switch his character and maybe the stage, depending on what happened. 
Right, you're not getting counterpicked on both stage and character. Right. And if, if you don't know if the person is like a pocket Bowser, for example, you're not going to eat sure shit no matter what, you know? So. I were banning all the way down to three stages, it appears. It, it lets the odds be forever in his favor. You're supposed to have a winner, no, a loser ban now to three stages and the card makes you lose three. Oh! Wait, so, so, New rules. So, wow. I thought, People haven't been doing that. Yeah, I got it. I thought we were doing for a few SGs, we were doing this, and then the few SGs after that, we were going to do that. That's what I thought it was. No, last week we did a different rule set, and then this week we were doing seven minutes and that stage man. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they're doing it right. Everybody else has been doing it Yeah. All right. really explained in the beginning of today. Yeah, we should have done that. So basically, there are two different rule sets we were trying to practice up. I have never seen Poops Diddy. Me neither. I saw it earlier today, and it, I like thought about it. It kind of like put me off a little. Huh? Poop has a Diddy now. All right, but here it is in tournament. He loves the cons, man. Apparently, he likes the big dongs and the little ones. But uh, I can't imagine that the, the matchup is going to change enough that Poop is going to be able to take this after the beating he took game one. You know, the big thing he faced was oh wow. The trade right there, Freeze will take that any day. The big thing we saw last game was the immaculate punish game of Freeze, which, you know, DK being a fatty really oh. helped out in that, but it doesn't matter. Freeze has your number no matter where you are, no matter how small your body. But the thing is, normally I see, oh, the, the delay on that throwing the, oh, throwing I thought the that banana. banana was gonna work. Yeah. Really good punish by Pooh. That is a really hard thing to punish. I, th I think one thing I'm realizing is uh, most of the characters I see Pooh play outside of DK are all kind of sort of heavy. I mean, like Ganondorf. I guess Falcon is uh, the exception. It's not as lumbering. But uh, Diddy just feels very different than the type of character I've seen Pooh play in the past. You know? Yeah. Interesting Ooh. tidbit. Poop's brawl name, Samus. Yeah. Samus! <laughs> Sorry, I always love how the announcer says his name and her name. Ooh, that badly spaced down air and gets. Eats it out of shield option, but nobody's getting any big punishes right now. They both are just yeah. respecting each other in neutral, just creating individual hits. I think the smallest stature of Diddy Kong is helping him in terms of not getting combo this hard. Yeah, he's, he's you know, he's eating maybe 40% on a combo instead of like a 110. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, wow. That was a shocking uh, Obvious, choice. Yes, I thought yeah. he was going to go Nair. Oh, he just tears right on the shield. He's a shield grab for Pooh. Wow, wow, what an edge guard Can he oh, make it back now? No. And Freeze does! Holy fucking shit! Yo, Stream. he is not happy about Somebody that. Somebody send that into PMVR, mm. would ya? Fuck! Wow, that was... Yeah. Somebody make Poop a care package. Alright, banana edge guards. Those are hype. Not that it matters for fucking g dubs <laughs> the rage is so real on commentary right now. Yo, who would have thought right now in chat that the Nizza would be the one who isn't bashing on Game & Watch uh. out of the two, out of the pair that's commentating. <laughs> Anyways. Dude, Freeze's, co Freeze's combo game, uh, his neutral game, everything has been so smart, so patient. I, I, Not to mention his camouflage. I, and his camouflage. I would have to argue that uh, I don't think I've seen Freeze play this well on stream before. I'd agree. Counter hit in there, and what is it going to be? Right there, yeah, he was too yeah, low. finished it. And Freeze, upset, with the big upset, takes That takes is a big boot. upset. I'm, I'm glad I talked them 